Hi, I'm James Chillinglaw here at ILTM Con, and it's been a great show so far, and, and really the biggest one around. And uh, we're here with uh, Marion Walsh, who's uh, Vice President of Marketing and Communication for Minor Hotels. And if you don't know Minor, you know their brands because they got some amazing luxury brands. And Antara is, is just one, Tivoli Hotels. We were talking about this. We're going to go over those brands, but really the expansion lately really is in Antara, which is an amazing uh, both city properties and more importantly, resort properties. We're going to talk about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Well, first of all, just you give me a little refresher, uh, you know, about what Miner is, and uh, very quickly. I know the story, but maybe somebody else doesn't know the story. Right. It's it's Bill Heineke who started it, and when did he start it? So Bill Heineke is American, uh, or was American. He's a Thai citizen today. He moved from the U.S. to Thailand when he was 13, right. and at the age of 17, he was supposed to go to university, but decided he wanted to be an entrepreneur. Right. So instead of going to university, he set up his own company. But because he was 17, he was a miner, and he decided to call his company Miner. So that's why we're that's called. I know the story, miner. and I, I still one of these days I got to interview him because he sounds like a real great, great guy, very good character. And I, I, I got promised by one of your public relations people that we try to set something up, but we haven't done it yet. I guess. I I gotta get to Bangkok. I don't know when it is, but that's right. I mean, Bill is highly driven. He is an entrepreneur. He loves the hospitality business. I mean, I, I was just, uh, you know, he called me about 10 minutes ago. I mean, he is on it day and night. I mean, he never sleeps. Hotels are his passion. That I believe. Now, how many brands does Miner have? Well, today we have eight brands, 530 hotels, and more than 70,000 keys, and we're in 56 countries. But you're just a minor company. We're just minor, not major. <laughs> That's right. This is not a minor company, believe it. Uh, and so, but really, the focus here, uh, at least we're here at ILTM Con, and you're really focusing here on your Anantara brand, uh, at least that's the big one, and you know, maybe a little Tivoli, because that's, you bought that a few years ago. But talk about Anantara. What is the Anantara brand? Well, the Anantar brand was created in 2001. At the time, Bill had other hotel companies within the portfolio, a couple of hotels, and he felt that they were great chains, international chains. But he, what he felt was missing was a brand that was local, that was really rooted in the destination. So he created Anantara because he felt that guests from overseas would really enjoy waking up in a hotel where they knew what country they were in and where they would have the opportunity to get out and discover what was around them. So that was his, his you know, the, the meaning behind setting up Anantara. And they were first in Thailand, right? It was first in Thailand. Uh, the brand opened in Hua Hin, which is a, uh, a town, a coastal town south of of Bangkok yeah and they've now spreading all over the place now right absolutely we have 46 Anantaras today in 22 countries and we're about to add one next week here in France really where is it gonna be Nice just down the just road just down the road in Anantara now I've seen some of them I've actually saw the Anantara in uh, Budapest I believe right that's yes. a, which is in a gorgeous building uh, it's actually it's a famous one because there's a famous it's called the Anantara New York Hotel and the New York Cafe is in it which is an absolutely stunning cafe if you've ever been into it just walk by but the building itself and the rooms it looks absolutely amazing that's right I mean it's a, a perfect example of what an Anantara can be you know it's a beautiful heritage building it's very rooted in the culture of you know of the city of Budapest and people have the opportunity to get out and enjoy the city and discover it we have a Volkswagen combi uh, that takes the guests around and they can go all over the city and discover all the really best that it has to offer and Budapest is a fabulous city but you've you have been just stopping there you've been all across Europe when you bought uh, Tivoli the Tivoli brand I think you converted some of those properties at least one and, and I think it's still under refurbishment now right. the Anantara down in Algarve right yes uh, the Anantara Villa Mora so right. when we bought the 14 uh, Tivoli properties we converted one to an Anantara currently it's under renovation it'll reopen next year as an Anantara as an Anantara with a completely new upgrade yes absolutely and then you also have been expanding in the Middle East East, right? We have been expanding in the Middle East, we've been expanding in the Maldives, Europe, Asia, we are just, yeah, expanding everywhere. Well, and, and the Maldives property, a little close to my heart because I just spent some time there, which was really one of my favorite hotels in this press trip. Uh, it was the uh, Anantara Ki Ki Kiava. 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 
amazing place, excellent staff, wonderful food, and, and just a great island in the Maldives. I mean, there are only about 152. You can't keep up on it. It's probably 154 resorts in all of the Maldives, but, and I've been only been to three of them, but I have to say in Antara, was, uh, Kievo was one of my favorites. That's right. A very special experience uh, there, and I was just there two weeks ago myself, checking out what was new. You go to Sea, which is the underwater restaurant. I, it's amazing. You don't have to go snorkeling. You just watch. The, they, right. they come to you. I actually did an interview with the general manager down there, and uh, we had a great, if you can see it, you can look for, for it uh, on Insider Travel Report. I mean, the concept is, of course, you, you know, everyone wants to go and stay at a wonderful hotel, but you can't today just visit a beautiful hotel. There's got to be more to it. And an example of that is uh, we recently launched the Jungle Bubbles. That is at Anantara Golden Triangle in northern Thailand. So the hotel sits on a hill in Thailand, obviously, overlooking Myanmar and Laos in the distance, but a couple of hundred yards away. So it's a really beautiful place because you have such an incredible view over three countries. Right. And we decided to set up this experience of a Jungle Bubble, which is a... Uh, Perspex plastic style bubble and it the suite at the beds inside. Right? With, with it's just like a hotel elephants room. outside. So. Yeah, it's yeah. just like a hotel room. Four o'clock in the afternoon, you go down, you set into settle into your room. You have an aperitivo at about five o'clock, a private chef who cooks you dinner, and then you retire to your room. Meanwhile, yes, you have the, uh, a number of elephants from our sanctuary who are sitting there enjoying their buffet too, whilst you have your private so you dinner. A, you have a few private elephants too, so that's you too certainly bad. do at night time then you because of these uh, the the moon and the stars you wake up and you can just look at the stars from from you right from where you're sleeping well you had a few other experiences too that you talked about we certainly did we have a train or more specifically a carriage in okay. Vietnam as well because we have two hotels in Vietnam Anantara Hoi An on the central coast and five hours further down by driving another Anantara Quinh Yon right. how do you link those great hotels rather than having to drive on you know a not so great road for five six hours you can take the train a little nice commute that's right so we got a carriage from the state which is and it's attached to the main train which departs every morning from Da Nang near our Hoi An hotel and goes all the way down the coast to our next hotel we completely refurbished it now it only accommodates 12 people maximum in uh, six little cabins there's a private chef on board there's a bar crew there's a spa zone so your meal is custom created for you whilst you're on the on the train you and you can just enjoy the views out the window so it's a great experience to be able to link two hotels that's amazing and I think you also have a cruise if I recall we have a number of cruises actually yeah. but we launched a new one in Bangkok uh, at our Anantara Riverside in Bangkok we have a beautiful new cruiser which is accommodates only eight people four cabins 26 square meters en suite I mean just top luxury and it's a beautiful cruiser that goes two nights and three days up to Ayutthaya the old capital so it's a little bit like the Angkor Wat of Thailand oh, wow. and you stop all the way along at these beautiful little uh, you know wats or a little island that is famous for handmade pottery and there's no cars on the island so you cycle around so all these great little spots along the way and then the next day you enjoy the temples and the third day you cruise back incredible for families small gatherings you know people are looking for slow travel families are looking to regroup this is the way to do it sounds like when i saw those when you're talking about that and i think we had written about some of them uh but amazing experiences that you can have in the, in the anantara change but these are marvelous resorts uh you do have other hotels and different brands and it sort of a, a little a, a drop down with avani i believe is another story but they're beautiful as well right they certainly are avani is a upscale brand more suited to a younger audience who are looking for connected you know communal workspaces grab and go you know a slightly different concept but we're just about to launch the first one in the Maldives so again it is five-star luxury okay. so a younger crowd a little bit heavier. younger crowd who are looking for something a little bit different well, I think we'll have to have another interview just about Ivani next time uh, listen thank you so much for taking the time to fill us in about a uh, minor hotel group which is actually a major hotel group and and Antara and we're looking I mean you're opening up properties and amazing properties and restoring properties all around the world right now it's now much more than just an Asian brand uh, it's now European it's now Middle Eastern uh, I know you're very heavily involved and in, you know you're doing gonna be resorts in Dubai Saudi Arabia everywhere so uh, it would keep watch on on Anantara keep watch on minor and again thank Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.
I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.